Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at EOS then. So EOS has reached, uh, I suppose, the first realistic target before we expect a pullback on this one now. Uh, we have had a pullback from, we're looking at this on the weekly candle bodies here. Um, and we've reached this, uh, this, this, well, it's not a top, it's a pit stop. Uh, but we know how uh, EOS likes to behave, um, even when it's you know going when you think it's just never going to stop. We've done this before. That was a big move up and a big move down to the tune of about 40-odd percent, yeah, 44 percent. No big deal. Uh, then we moved all the way up again here and uh, came all the way back down. And the wick brought us to 50. The candle bodies took us to 43 percent. No big deal, no big deal. And now we've moved all the way up, and uh, I am honestly expecting a, a big pullback. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen, but if we did, to the tune of 40-something percent or 50, it would bring us down to here. And that is, I know that sounds unrealistic, um, but it's 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 f quite fitting with the behaviour that EOS performs. Now, for me, I bought, you know, down here... Uh, for an opportunity to reverse the entire chart, not just the chart to reverse it to the point where we've reversed it right now. The EOS chart actually goes a lot further than this. This is just Binance's chart. The top area, the absolute all-time high, was around about $23, $24. It varies from exchange to exchange. And I am thinking, <coughs> excuse me, and the idea was is that we would, I would buy in there and I would reverse it all the way up. Now, when I buy into these coins like this and expect such large moves over a long period of time, I generally just hold them. But I have taken a, a small slice of profit uh, on two occasions now. I took one at 13 uh, just to front run uh, the um, the, the uh, what I thought could have been a potential dump from there. And I had another uh, portion taken here. The reason being is that this is an obvious place for it to hit uh, and get rejected from. And if it does get rejected in the same way that it gets rejected in the past, um, then we could be looking at you know a 50% retracement bringing us down to this zone here, which used to be the resistance and could now be the support. Just like here, it used to be the resistance got turned to support. We are looking again on the weekly, so I'm not saying this is going to happen immediately. Um, these were all in the face of market dumps, and EOS got hit quite hard with those market dumps. Um, but even, you know, it, does, it doesn't matter how hard it was hit, it still respected the chart. And like I say, previous resistance turned to support. This could be the previous resistance that's turned to support, which, you know, worst case scenario, we come down to three uh, $7.36, or thereabouts anyway. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen, but we have to uh, we have to consider it as a realistic possibility. Now, previously, uh, the Money Flow Index does give much higher reads than this on uh, on crypto for top areas. But previously, uh, we've, we, on this chart anyway, this was our peak over here, uh, 84. Uh, and that was at this candle body. We've not actually had uh, a significantly high read since then. Now, I understand that there's some bullish news, uh, pardon the pun, uh, about uh, EOS, and that could be driving a lot of this market price. Uh, I'm okay with that, um, you know, fundamental bullishness or whatever it is that, that's driving the price. For me, it was based upon a technical entry uh, around here and a further one here since we got the conversion baseline cross on the weekly, which is a very strong buy signal. So when we dumped here and we saw this happen the previous week, Week. It was it was a basically an opportunity to buy again. So I had two main entries. I, I scaled in around the uh, around this zone, and then I had one last final entry around about here. And now I'm just going to leave the rest to ride. Like I say, I've had two exit points, which are very small profit taking because my expectations are for EOS to make it to twenty dollars and beyond. You know, into the forties and maybe beyond that throughout the rest of the year. But it's not without its uh, its potential dumps. And so it's only fair uh, for me to let you know that I have taken taken some profit on two occasions now, but it's only a slither, it's a fraction uh, of my overall investment. The rest I, I will leave to ride out, but um, sometimes you do feel like, you know, considering that we do have a, a fix on the way that this has worked in the past, um, I would be tempting fate to not take any profit at this level. I never took profit here, nor did I here, because these, uh, you know, these would have been, you know, it would have been nice profit. Generally speaking, that would have been a 70%, this would have been a 150%, but really, now I'm talking about a close to a 400%, and so, you know, that's almost a 4x from my original overall entry point. <coughs> It's right to take some profit at this level for me, because that was my entry point. But again, I have to stress, you know, my expectations of this chart is that we're going to do a full reversal um, of the overall price targets, uh, which brings us, you know, to around about here, this uh, this this kind of zone up here. This is going to be our overall uh, rough um, uh, end game, 
and then beyond there is price discovery and we know what happens in price discovery things go crazy and they can go crazy and I expect this one to do that we're still relatively early on in the year uh, we do have several more months to go before I expect the market to kind of reach a peak and if we go on the way that uh, EOS worked on the previous market peaks it actually went absolutely bonkers and bananas and crazy uh, after everything else had already finished running so like I can say taking profit for me um, the next level would be around here the next level after that would be around here and then the rest I will leave to ride until I feel like the market is really kind of finished uh, and then I'll take profit wherever that target might be anyway that's my EOS update for you and uh, I hope you have a nice day and take it easy